heads of state and government, dear colleagues, Excellency, President of Brazil, Mr. Lula da Silva, Excellency, Prime Minister of the State of Palestine, Mohammed Ibrahim Shetia. Heads of Delegation, Excellencies, Ministers, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Secretary General of the League of Arab States, Representatives of International Organizations, Ambassadors, Ladies and gentlemen, at uh, the outset of my address, on your behalf uh, and on behalf of myself, allow me to extend uh, my thanks uh, to the people and government of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia for the hospitality accorded uh, to us uh, uh, that they have always uh, given to us on the occasion of the organization of our various summits in this beautiful African capital. This beautiful city is the cradle of the first institutional expression of our will to integrate. This was initiated by the fathers of uh, the OAU. All of this uh, is uh, reflected uh, in uh, what uh, President Mukhtar Wildad uh, said uh, in his uh, address uh, in uh, 1963. Quote, uh, w the whole world is looking at us uh, now, especially our African people. Th the crime that we can commit against our people is to fail. End of quote. The late uh, president uh, believed in upgrading the level of African joint action. He believed that uh, his country represented a historical link between the north and uh, the south uh, of the continent. And uh, it, he wanted the country to be one of the pillars of uh, the new African organization. Allow me, uh, dear colleagues, to express to you my respect and my deep gratitude for the trust bestowed in me. I specifically refer to my brothers, the leaders of the northern region, who have uh, honored me, uh, as you have uh, done to choose me as uh, the uh, chairperson of uh, this uh, uh, union uh, in, to serve our uh, union. I am honored by this uh, choice, and I understand the volume of uh, responsibilities I have, uh, particularly in the midst of uh, this uh, critical period through which our continent is going at the moment. I shall uh, bear this responsibility on the basis of uh, continued consultation and close coordination with all of you. I would like uh, to congratulate uh, my brother and friend, uh, His Excellency Azani Usumani, the President of the Union of the Comoros, uh, for uh, his uh, uh, leadership uh, skills and for the efforts uh, he made uh, to promote uh, the work of our union to achieve uh, the aspirations of African people. I uh, hail at the same time what His Excellency Musa Fakir Mohammed, the chairperson of the African Union Commission, uh, and his team are doing at uh, the moment uh, along with the various African institutions uh, in order to play a constructive role uh, uh, to uh, revamp the performance of the Union in terms of effectiveness. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, what uh, the fathers uh, 
uh, looked for was what uh, we built uh, together in terms of Agenda 2063. It reflects uh, our plans uh, to develop, uh, the, to create the Africa we want, uh, an integrated and prosperous uh, Africa where peace uh, prevails and where citizens uh, are the leaders of the continent as uh, power in the international arena. The success of our plans and strategies to achieve this noble goal depends on an effective use of human resources to have an, an, an effective quality educational system that is open to new technologies. The adoption of uh, uh, an educational program in Africa uh, to achieve uh, continued and uh, quality education uh, in this year means that uh, this is the right way forward. <coughs> education is uh, the starting point for a sustainable development. It is a major support uh, for peace and security. It is based on promoting skills and this opens up uh, new uh, job opportunities. It reduces unemployment, uh, poverty, and uh, uh, marginalization. Allow me, dear colleagues, to focus here on youths. Youths uh, represent, uh, at the moment, uh, about 62% of the African populations. The loss of our youths is the loss of our continent. An uneducated youth uh, means that Africa remains uneducated. Uh, African youths lacking the basic skills and who are unemployed in their countries uh, and who are now taking up the boats of uh, death through illegal em emigration because of uh, the absence of the horizon for a uh, life in dignity and because of the absence of uh, living in dignity in their country. Uh, all of these uh, elements are a source of concern to us. And this means uh, that we, have, we need a revolution in our educational systems. Our uh, continent uh, is uh, lagging behind when it comes uh, to the achievement of the fourth uh, uh, goal objective of uh, development. Uh, we need uh, to have a comprehensive development and we need to address the problems faced by our educational systems because of low accessibility and the high rates of dropouts in addition to low quality of training and the various challenges. It is not acceptable to leave 17% of our children out of schools, out of primary schools. 75% of our young people in the, uh, do not have the skills that they need in secondary education. We all have, as governments and the civil society and various actors, we have to deploy further efforts to mobilize the human and technical and financial resources to create a revolution in our educational systems. The aim is uh, to provide our girls and boys on equal footing with the same opportunity to have uh, the necessary skills on a continuous basis. The, the aim is to unleash the potential of African women and to enable them uh, to participate, participate in uh, the leadership positions uh, and in development. Uh, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, 10 years ago, the first decade plan was adapted within the framework of Agenda 2063. This is part of the mid-term development plan of the African countries uh, and, uh, in Rex and in the various regions. 10 years ago, the uh, context was not uh, uh, conducive to development, and crises uh, were multiple. There were health crises, um, environmental and security crises. All of them have uh, had an impact on increasing challenges and represented major impediments uh, to uh, development. Uh, 
this, uh, these challenges uh, impeded the, the implementation of Agenda 2063. However, uh, some uh, promising uh, progress has been made in different areas, uh, s such as uh, the development achieved in the establishment of the AFC FTA and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the establishment of uh, the first uh, stages, uh, particularly with regard to the promotion of uh, commodities uh, and uh, now the uh, 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 new uh, protocols on investment uh, have been adopted uh, to uh, promote uh, competition. Uh, now we uh, have worked uh, uh, seriously on uh, the uh, d digital identification of the, the AFC FTA and the agreement on uh, the rules of uh, origin.